In this lecture, we will talk about the third principle of Scamper, which is ADAPT. ADAPT is perhaps one of the most basic human traits. Human beings have stood the test of time and thus have become the fittest species because they were able to adapt. This is not new. Many corporate houses, enterprises, organizations, individuals and even processes have stood the test of time and they were able to adapt. The principle of adaptation when used in the context of scamper can help organizations look at how they can adapt to cultures and other dynamics thereby providing more value to shareholders and customers. So I would say that adaptation is a natural response to a changing environment. With scamper we will stimulate that adaptation even before any change has occurred. So we are going to be proactive. The quest now for us is to find out if we can adapt to overcome a problem or a constraint. If you look at the illustration, it talks about how we have adapted and have started using treadmill to do exercises due to scarcity of space and time. Some of the other terms that are synonymous with adaptability are flexibility, customization, futuristic and now the word agile. The illustration here shows chairs which were built for standard height have now been adapted to improve the ergonomics and physical comfort of people with different heights. So I would say this is a good example to say how we have adapted a particular product or a design to suit to the varying needs of customers. Now let's look at some tips to effectively apply the principle of adaptation in manufacturing services and in strategic initiatives. When we talk about manufacturing, we could ask questions such as how can we adapt our existing machinery to manufacture new products? How can our product adapt to the needs of the customers, specific needs of unique customers? How can we replace rigid parts with flexible parts? So those could be some of the questions relating to manufacturing. Talking about service, how can we customize or personalize our services? So that's in a way adaptation. How can we make our customers feel exclusive? Again, adaptation. How can we become more flexible with service levels? Can we offer differentiated services? Very similar to the previous question. Now talking about strategic and leadership related aspects, how can we incorporate varied cultural differences in our organization. How can we improve the leadership effectiveness by inducting flexibility in our decision making? How can we adapt to changing internal environments such as reducing employee age, increasing level of employee attrition, work-life balances, etc. How can we adapt to the changing external environments such as constraint in natural resources, volatile economy, etc. So I would say that by looking at these aspects, we may be able to effectively apply the principle of adaptation in a specific scenario. Now here is my last tip for this principle. Usually adaptation is a change that we are able to bring about in any product or service with or without minor modifications. Only when we cannot overcome the constraint by adaptation should we consider modification. So that would take us right into the next topic.